Hello everyone to another one of my videos. I'm here to give you guys a collections update like I promised. I just went to the garage sale, um, town wide garage sale. Um, it was fun. And a um, little disappointed as far as like the games. To be honest, I didn't find that many games at the garage sales. Especially compared to last year. Like I found really no systems at all. Minus the three um, handhelds that I got. Found no PS2s, no nothing, and I'm talking about we went to like 60, 70 garage sales. It was pretty crazy. I don't know if like since they've been doing it for a while, that those people, I guess, like eventually, obviously, were, they don't have any anymore because the town's been doing garage sales there for at least three years, and uh, they do town wide, so they've gotten rid of it already. But yeah, so it wasn't exactly as big as I thought, but I still got a lot of games because I ended up going to a retro store as well, which I'll get into once I get to the pieces. But first, let's get into the older. The prior stuff before the garage sale that I went to this weekend, which is sitting on my left side for the most part, minus this. Um, there are a couple of things I'm missing from here. Like, I know I got NHL 2013, got NBA 2013 for all the 360, got FIFA 2013. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I did a Max Payne unboxing or at least a video of it, so um, I, I don't have those 360 games out. They're sitting right there, but I didn't really see a purpose. But hey, let's get into the ones that I got beforehand. I forgot where exactly I got these. I think these were garage sales at 1.2. But um, first game we have here is Where's Our Nevo Code Veronica. Obviously complete. It came with like a Devil May Cry demo CD. So got that. I'm, I'm kind of far away, so I'm not gonna bother showing you guys inside because you're not really gonna be able to see it very well, unfortunately. But uh, Rainbow Six Rock Spear for the PlayStation. Um, wrapped. Tiger Woods 99 for the PlayStation. Uh, collection of classic Atari games for the 2600. I remember having this, and that's crazy because I remember playing. I wonder if the game that I like is on here. Is Ice Hockey on here? Yep, it is. So, that's cool. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PlayStation. Uh, snowboarding for the PlayStation. Twisted Metal Small Brawl for the PlayStation. Uh, Street Cover Boat Racing for the PlayStation. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the PlayStation. Frogger 2 for the PlayStation. And Tetris Plus for the PlayStation. So, um, all these games here, I didn't, really didn't pay for more than like two or three bucks at the most. Uh, Madden 2010 also for the PlayStation. Uh, a couple of Xbox games. I got Cold Sphere. I remember getting this on eBay for like seven bucks. Cold Sphere for the Xbox 360 and NBA Live 07. Found in a garage sale. Also got uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2 for the 3DS. And Atari Ice Hockey um, for the 2600 in the box. Complete. So that was nice. And moving on to the stuff that I actually got at the garage sales. So let's get into that first. First thing I found at the garage sale, I did find a couple of cool things. That, I didn't say I didn't find a couple of cool things. The, the what I found the most, um, which I'm not, I can't show you in this video, is stuff for the other side. If you guys have seen my my setup, this is the gaming room, and then the other side is like where ping pong and the card table is, and the bumper pool is, and like sl like things like that. And we're in the process of, uh, or maybe in the next month, to create like a little bar along the wall over here going towards that side. So we did find a lot of like bar stuff, which I did hang stuff up, some stuff up. Like a neon sign, we found a little small neon sign. We found a couple of signs we put up. We found this cool clock that um, has like cards on it that's an actual clock which works that we found for like a few dollars. So we find a lot of cool stuff, especially non gaming related. Um, especially for that other side, which is awesome. I mean, we found four four more signs that ha have no room to be hung up. So we're saving them so when we build the bar on this side, uh, going towards that room, we'll put them on the top, because the bar will take up the lower half and we'll put the signs to the top right. And, you know, whenever we um, have our own place and, and officially move out in a couple of years, um, you, we, we already have plans to do something very similar to the setup for the basement. So, uh, or maybe, you know, so we already have a bunch of bar stuff so regardless it's, it was worth it so that stuff I did definitely find a lot of which was very surprising and I also found this it was a Namco um, plug and play got this for three uh, two bucks so interesting to see if this works I, I'm assuming it does these probably don't break that off 
I don't even know what game is on here because it doesn't say. It just says Namco, so I'm assuming it's a bunch of their their games. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Oh, I also found the SpongeBob one in the same place. I mean, uh, God knows what this game is like, but it was also there for two bucks. So I wasn't gonna pass it up. I like collecting these plug and play ones. As you know, I got the Atari one already sitting up there that I got. So I also found this. Um, was this at a garage sale? Yeah, this was. Got this at a garage. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> found this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Um, it's like a, the new Pokemon. It's like got the three main figures uh, for the Pokemon games. T Pig, and I don't even know the rest of the names because I'm not exactly caught up to Pokemon as I used to be like 10 years ago. But I know that these are the three main guys that are in the games now. For the newer Pokemon, and this is like, I guess, the holding case. Store your Pokemon figures, launchers, and targets. So. That was cool. I was only like three or four bucks, so just the figures is the reason I got it. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this in case, but you know it's there. Um, got a Xbox controller that I got from one of them, which was nice. Cause um, I, I broke a couple of them that I found out weren't working. So also. Got a few PlayStation games. These also came from a garage sale. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Monster House for the GameCube. SSX Tricky for the PlayStation 2. And Quidditch World Cup for the PS2. I did have this for the Xbox, now I got it for the PS2. Cool game, by the way. I did find a few games. I mean, I did find like 20, but if you guys saw my last year's video, on how much stuff I came back from this garage sale gaming related, this is nothing compared. I got like four systems last year and stuff. It doesn't compare to this year. I mean, I still got some cool stuff. and I like that this year almost a little better because since I'm now more into like, um, I actually have like a legit gaming room here. We got that other side and it's got like the bar theme going and everything. It was cool to find a variety of different things, not just gaming related. That was cool to find like the bar stuff that I found and everything and the neon signs. So it was more variety of stuff that we found, which was cool. Definitely different. So, here we got, uh, found Xbox 360 Viva Pinata, the original. I heard it was pretty decent. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, Nick Tunes Unite, to be honest, I don't even know when I picked this up. I know it was at Garage Sale, but I don't remember when. But, anyways, Nick Tunes Unite, got that. Uh, Flushed Away for the PS2. PS2 games are always everywhere. Uh, Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge for the Xbox. And Blitz the League for the Xbox. For the PS3, picked up The Simpsons game. And Sonic the Hedgehog. Also picked up a Game Boy Advance, which does work. The pink one, I don't have this color. Unfortunately, I want to see if I can find the case for the battery. I doubt it, but I'll try to find it on eBay or something. Just the only thing that didn't come with, but it was only a dollar, so I wasn't going to pass it up. Um, and it works perfect, and the screen's not that bad. So. I got a couple of things. Uh, oh, I did actually get one system, a small system, that I actually totally forgot until I just saw it in the bag, but... You'll see what I'm talking about. I got a uh, ice hockey. Oh, you know what? This actually goes in this bag. That's for later, but there you go. Uh, at the garage sale, I also picked up Sega Genesis NFL Football 94. These are all obviously complete. I did pick up another PS2 controller, which I needed. I think now I have three. I need a fourth. Picked up a copy of Gears of War Xbox 360. I wasn't sure if I had this already because I don't know. Back then, like when this game came out, I don't think I was actually collecting yet. So I think I might have sold it. I'm not even sure. I might still have it, but if I do, hey, whatever, it was two bucks. Uh, Sh Shaq Fu. Never heard of it. For uh, the Genesis. And 
or a Kung Fu Panda for the Xbox 360 in like some ghetto case, but it was also two bucks for the 360, and you know, I'll try it out for that price. I'll get the case for it later if I want. It's not really a big deal. I did get two more. I haven't tested these yet. I did get two more Game Gears. Uh, two bucks each. So I have two already. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, you're not gonna pass them up on the two bucks for any system, uh, which is what I do because I just store them. And you know, when something breaks, you don't have to go fucking crazy and go spend like thirty or forty dollars because you're desperate to buy one either, because it's not garage sale season or you can't find one. So. I don't recommend anyone passing up systems between two to ten dollars if you can at a garage sale. So, no matter if you have it already, it's my philosophy. This is the other system I got. I got this for it says four bucks, but I think I actually ended up paying three. It's one of the Atari like Connect Atari Flashback Two. So this is the Atari Flashback Two that lets you play all the Atari games that are built into the system. So I got this. Um, I want to get like the Atari Flashback Three, and I'll show the first one, but. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool to find that. It's not really that was the system I was referring to, and I don't really know if that's considered a real real system, but it's there. Uh, here's a controller for it. I also picked up this. This is pretty cool to find. Oh, actually, came with two controllers. I forgot. What I did find that was pretty cool is I got Mag for the three for the PS3, which I'm definitely gonna try out. Um, someone sold this to me for three bucks. And um, I heard good things about it, and I never wanted to spend the 60 bucks, so when I saw it, I definitely got that. So that was interesting. Here's a power cable for that. Look, sorry. Now, the cool, one of the coolest things I found, which was also 3 bucks, is an Xbox 360 modded controller the kid had. Which, um, if you can see that, it's all white, obviously. It's got blue... Um, RB uh, and then black uh, trigger buttons and um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera but they all light up which is pretty cool and um, I forget exactly what the guy told me on how to change the color I think it's like hold the light button hold on a second there's a light button that turns it off completely and then he said something about holding the, the R trigger, but regardless, I know the analog, I believe the analog sticks light up as well, but I forget how he told me to do it. But anyway, regardless, you can see how cool that looks all lit up. A nice little modded controller. He said he got it from eBay. So the analog sticks are, are different too. It's, uh, it feels weird. Hopefully it works out good in gaming because I like the controller. I'll make it my primary controller if it works good. Uh, looks like it's got some like weird analog sticks that are supposedly going to be better. So we'll see how that goes. Well, that was cool to find. Didn't think I'd find a modded controller sitting out there. And uh, I found this at the garage sale for 50 cents. It's uh, the Guitar Hero on tour thing for the DS. So when I actually have the game or get the game now, I don't have to get the whole game because it's going to be hard to find both sometimes at garage sales. Get them like this. And the last thing I got at garage sale is I found this for three bucks. It's uh, a gaming wheel with the original box for uh, Universal from Madcast for uh, PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, PS1, and PlayStation. It was marked for five bucks. I got it down to three. So, that was cool too. Now, the girl, uh, I did find a gaming store when I was actually calling GameStop. They actually, I was looking for, you know what, that's another thing I got. Thank God I remembered it's upstairs. Um, but I'll just let you guys know it's something serious. I got a Wave Bird finally for the GameCube. I'm going to plan to get at least another one I want too, so I'm at least two players play to play. The best thing I ever invented. I already knew that, but there's not, like, it's not ridiculously expensive. They're like 30, 25 to $35 on eBay. Um, I found one at a store for that price, so I just budged and just got it. So that's upstairs, but in the, while trying to find that, GameStop told me to go find go to a store that opened up a couple of years ago that I didn't know about that was, you know, about 25 minutes away from me. You guys know I go to Digital Press uh, in Clifton, which is an awesome gaming store, but um, there's also this new place that I went to, and I got there and I looked around everything. I don't know if I'd ever go back there again unless if I was in the area because well, their main problem was is that 
there was two a couple of main problems. One, they had their games stacked like they had like five hundred at least five hundred original Xbox games, which was great because you could find everything. And um, they're marked like a little lower than eBay prices, at least for the stuff I found. They're not like uh, expensive and they're not like cheap, so you're gonna go in there and pay like a little less than eBay. Sometimes eBay, so it's expected for a store like that, but it is a little less than eBay to keep them competitive. But the problem is that they have them in stacks. So, you want a game in the middle, you have to, like, take out, like, I'm talking about stacks, like, almost as high as my shelf. Like, they're huge. So, you want to get a game in the middle, you're just pretty much going to have to take all the games out, they're all going to fall on you. That was number one. It was very disorganized. Games were everywhere. The lady had her kids there screaming all over the place. Um, I guess it's like a family-owned, family-owned uh, establishment. But... The kids didn't bother me, I don't really care. The problem is is that, that pulling out the games was one of the things. And then the second thing that I had a problem with was also the fact that um, a lot of the things I wanted you couldn't buy because they weren't tested, they weren't work they weren't like out they had them for just display purposes, like they had in the cabinet. I know like other places have a digital press does it where they have stuff in the cabinet, but if you would have saw the place and knew what I was talking about, it's not the same. They would have uh, for example I saw it on television sitting Legitly in like where the Intellivision games were and where the games are you figure you could pick it up and go to the store i go to the register and, and, and pay for it, but she said oh that's just sitting there for a display We haven't tested it so you can't buy it yet So then they had stuff in the glass case at the register trying to promote like their high valuable items You would assume so you can buy them right in the main case and you get there and she's like all oh, those are just for display The games are for sale, but they had the Pikachu N64 and she wouldn't sell it yet Or she wouldn't I don't think she was gonna sell it at all the, another really bad thing is that nothing had prices on it. So I would go through things and I wouldn't know, especially first time person, not know what the prices were. So I went there and uh, went up to the register and like, for all she knew, I could have brought up 25 games. If she would have told me high prices, I would have put them all back because I wasn't going to pay that price without knowing what the price was. So that kept me from buying a lot of things because I couldn't see, oh, this game $4, I'll take that one instead of this game that's 10 because I'd rather have the cheaper game because it's just as good. So I couldn't do that, so I just picked games that I really thought I wanted, see what the prices were, and went up there. But most of them are pretty fair price, but still I need to know the prices of the games. The fact that nothing was marked on that store is ridiculous. So, but I still found a couple of things I wanted. Not a lot, but a few. First game I needed was uh, NBA Street Volume 2. This was probably the best deal there. God knows why it was marked so low. The, the, everything's looking perfect. NBA Street Volume 2 for the original Xbox was $2.50. That's like garage sale price. I don't know why that one was marked that low. Especially for a good game like that. Ice Hockey for the NES. Got for 4 bucks. I got Fusion Frenzy that I've been wanting for the original Xbox. Nice, uh, a great party game. 8 bucks. Got Forza Motorsport. 8 bucks. For the original Xbox. We got Sega Soccer Slam, original Xbox, I think this was six. Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo, six bucks or seven. And the last two, I got an NHL 2K for the Dreamcast that I didn't have, and Wacky Races for the Dreamcast, which I also didn't have, which I've heard pretty decent things about. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Overall, I think it was a pretty good garage sale day. I got a, 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 besides this, like I mentioned, everything I got over there was awesome. And um, I'm looking forward to getting more. I'm, I'm trying to stick to some sort of method. It's really hard, as you guys know, um, with the season um, of gaming these next three months to actually have extra money to go, like, on eBay or whatever. And, and walk and go to digital press and go to these stores because all these new games come out and sometimes you want them. Like, I'm a big sports person, so I had to get NHL, FIFA, and NBA on day one. Um, so, this year, I'm still kind of stuck in that situation, but I'm, I'm cutting down on a lot of games because they're always going down to, like, $40. Like, literally three weeks later, you'll see them on Amazon for 40 or whatever. And I don't really play them right away. I usually play them for, like, the next day, like, a day or two. And then I go back to the games I was really playing, and then I end up going back to those after those are done. So by the time I get to them, they probably were going to be $20, $30, $40 anyway. So I'm really trying to concentrate on doing that so I don't spend a lot of money this season, especially with the Wii U coming out, uh, which I have pre-ordered as well. So 
I'm trying to I'm trying to stick to that plan. But uh, what I really want to do after probably after the season's over because there's still way too many games coming out. Um, even if I do cut down, it's not going to be enough. Um, with other things going on besides just gaming in my life, there's a lot of other things I need to save up for and do and pay and all that crap. So uh, probably after the season's over, I really want to dedicate like a certain budget as a as a thing every time I get paid to get games on eBay and stuff because I usually tend to only get games like around garage sale season and Christmas when I ask for game like games from eBay and stuff and then like from that point to like the summer it's really dead because I don't get any old school games I end up just buying like the new games that are out and stuff like that so I'm really going to try to dedicate like a, once I get everything figured out a dedicated spending like every you know what I can like say if it was a hundred bucks uh, a paycheck or whatever, I'd go, that's just a random number, and, and use that 100 bucks, dedicate it as, as if it was like a bill in my head, go there, and uh, and get old school games, so I keep getting my games that I want, and not just rely on garage sales, sometimes you're not going to find things at garage sales, and, um, or even if you do, you know, so there's some games I still really want to play that I haven't gotten for the old systems, even some systems I'm still missing, I'm missing like three or four that I really want, like the Virtual Boy, for example, that I need to get, which I'll probably end up picking that for Christmas, but... Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing, uh, just to give you guys an overlook. So you'll see more videos in re due to that fact. And um, there's also uh, another thing I, that I usually don't really mention is I also get a lot of board games because I'm a really big board game person. So that some of the money goes to that. Like I've gotten like probably like eight board games in the past month. Uh, Kickstarter is a big problem for that. Kickstarter has a lot of cool board games coming out that you want to support. I'm already supporting two, so two more on top of the ones I have, and I have another board game coming in, so I have, I have a, probably about, maybe, somewhere between 50 to 60 board games right now, and, uh, always adding more, and I was trying to get cool, cool board games to play with people, I love it, because video games are cool, but board games are just as much fun, just crazy, I just ordered one today, the, the two expansion packs that, um, I can't wait for until I get the original game, I was always thinking about making a video, Maybe if you guys comment and let me know you actually care about board games and want to see it, maybe I'll do a video of all the board games I have. But, um, yeah, I think I rambled on enough. I've been talking for way too long. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, tune in until next time. Uh, I, I, I don't know what my next video will be. Probably some sort of collector's game I get for one of these new generation consoles. I don't know. It could be the Wii U. I'll definitely have a video for that because I'm picking it up day one, whatever it may be. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, man. Thanks.